Hey guys, how's it going? Russell back here with IDK02, and today we are going to be designing a shock mount for my Blue Yeti USB microphone. Uh, as you can see, the uh, old setup uh, is actually just sort of mounted to the boom as such. I'll give it a second and I'll, I'll get it to focus. Uh, there we go. So you can see that there's an adapter, a uh, quarter inch to, I think it's a 3 8 um, and uh, the microphone's just sitting on there. The problem is whenever I knock it, you can, you're going to hear this in a second, uh, it makes some uh, some pretty nasty so the problem is whenever I knock it it makes some pretty nasty um, reverberation so what we're gonna do is we're going to design it but first I need a, a model of of the Yeti microphone um, now I did all the measurements and everything just with a, a set of digital calipers um, and then this is me in SolidWorks uh, just mocking up uh, the Yeti uh, stereo microphone. Um, so I actually missed the first half of it, um, but it was basically just building the cylinder and then the extrusion on the bottom. So there's not, not much to it, as you can see. So we're gonna, gonna go through building the rest of the model. Um, I wanna put all the knobs and everything on the surface so that when I build the mount in SolidWorks as an assembly, uh, you'll be able to see how all the parts interact. Uh, here I'm seeing uh, trying to put uh, little ridges on the volume button and I thought the better of it. That's too much time. So I just kind of moved on. Uh, enough detail to make it resemble, uh, but uh, not so much detail that I spend too much time on it is sort of the, the way that I decided to go. So the, I'm now working on the two knobs at the back for the gain and the uh, microphone configuration. Um, again, I just measure the sizes and the protrusion distances with uh, some digital calipers. Um, this top half was kind of tricky. Uh, because of the dome of the microphone isn't a perfect semicircle, there is a bit of an extension to the bottom. Um, and then the transition between the cylinder and the mic it itself is a little bit weird. I uh, just kind of mocked it up as best I could. And then he saw me just for a second there mocking up the screw holes on the side. And this is the final product. Um, I just gave it a quick paint job. I didn't put any of the branding or anything on it. That just, again, would have taken too much time. But you can see the, the red mute button, then there's a volume button there. And then again, the gain button and then the uh, the microphone uh, setting button for like cardioid and all that kind of stuff. And you see on the bottom uh, on the right there, there's the mic or there's USB, sorry, and then the three and a half millimeter jack. Um, that's the mounting hole that I used to have it mounted on. Uh, and then in just a second here, I'm going to rotate it to the side. And then uh, you can see on the left that picture, there's the, the mounting hole on the side, which we're actually going to be using for the shock mount. Um, now on the right half of the screen, I've actually started designing the, the mounting ring for the shock mount. Um, it's basically uh, just going to be a flat ring uh, with the holes through it for the uh, for the bungee cord. And then that is the, the tab that I'm going to be using uh, to mount it. Um, and then I'll, this is me just uh, saving it, which is, which is a, a big, big factor when you're doing anything uh, like this because it's so hard to do the same thing twice because SolidWorks actually did just crash. So thank goodness I saved it. I only lost the whole placements. So after that, uh, whole placements are done and I moved on to the side brackets. And these are the clamps that are gonna bolt right to the microphone um, uh, to hold uh, to hold the arms that hold the, the, the bungee cord. Now, the dimension on that hole actually changed a little bit and uh, I'll have the updated model linked below. Um, as well as uh, all the rest of the models, and these are the these are the arms. So I see, or you can see that the uh, the, the clamp and the ring has made its way into the assembly, um, and uh, I'm now on the clamp arms, uh, which are going to hold the the bungee cord. Uh, now I did that just because I want to try and visualize what's going to happen because the ring um, isn't going to be at the same level as the clamps are, just the way that the uh, uh, the volume button is placed. Um, so I have to uh, change the shape of the arms according to where I want the ring placed. Um, so I actually had to extend uh, those little pieces on the end of the clamps um, so I could make the arms longer. Um, I did that so mo more of the arms were supported uh, to minimize the risk of snapping. So after all the models are done, I brought them all into Kira 15.0.4 uh, 15 um, and then made step files. Um, now all of the uh, models were built uh, with a raft uh, adhesion uh, to the plate. I found those uh, gave the, the bottom surface the best finish and also made it really, really easy to pull off of the printer. Um, now the printer that I'm using is a Monoprice uh, Mini uh, Mini Select um, V1. Um, it's actually uh, like uh, really, really good, especially for projects like this. I really enjoy it. Um, I'll be posting some more stuff uh, related to that 
um, a little bit later. Uh, you can see me just tossing the rest of the pieces um, on the uh, the second build plate. I had to do the, all the parts in two separate prints just because there wasn't enough space. Um, so I'll, I'll be printing all these parts in uh, PLA plastic um, from uh, Solutech, Solutech PLA plastic. Um, I, I printed them in gray. I also have black, but I, I kind of like the, the contrast, but I might print a black one as well and see if I see if I like it. Here I'm going through all the layers, making sure everything looks good, and the blue lines are the tool paths. Um, so you can see the raft build at the bottom, and then all the layers that are built up uh, on top of that. So I save the tool path, and then I can print them out. Now here are all the parts. I've already installed the bungee cord on the ring, and this is just a mount that I got from a microphone mount that I bought with a boom, and then these are the clamps fully assembled. Um, now once it focuses, you'll be able to see that I actually did use just a dab of hot glue in there just to keep all the arms in place. Um, the It's not necessary, um, but it does help keep everything assembled. Um, now with this hole, again, we're just gonna let it focus in just a second. Um, this hole is actually designed to use the original um, OEM uh, bolts, like thumb bolts that came with the microphone, these guys here. Um, now these bolts usually mount with the desk stand into, oops, um, into uh, these holes here. Um, so what I designed them to do is they go in this hole and then that whole clamp assembly will just thumb bolt right onto the microphone like that. And here it is. Uh, so the thumb bolts just screw into the side of the mic, and then the bungee cords all hook up. Uh, you can see that the, the top bungee cord goes uh, in, in one hole underneath the, the ring, and then up through the other hole. And then, um, again, uh, the opposite for the bottom half. Uh, the bungee cord is a 1 8 inch bungee I just bought off of Amazon. Um, you can get like 10 feet of it for like $10. It's super cheap. Um, you can see a wire tie just off to the right, keeping the USB cord uh, up and out of the way. Um, and then that uh, that microphone adapter mount that I got with the boom actually um, fit nicely with the, with the tab that I printed on top of it. So now we're going to run the same test that we did at the beginning of the video, and then now we can sort of compare how loud it is. So I'm just going to start Audacity and tap on the boom. So there you have it. Um, the distortions were still present, but they did seem much, much quieter this time around, so I would say that this was a successful shock mount. The two things I really like about this design is I didn't have to purchase any extra hardware. I used existing hardware that came with the mic itself, and it's center mounted, so it becomes a little bit more um, stable, so it's not falling over because it's not top heavy. So I'll have all of the models linked in the description below if you guys uh, would like to download and use them for yourself. Um, that's still okay. And I'll have uh, links for a boom and the bungee cord as well from Amazon, the ones that I purchased. If you guys have any other, uh, other ideas for functional prints that I could do, uh, leave them in the comment section down below and then I'll see if I can make a future video on that. But thanks a lot, guys. Uh, consider dropping a like on this video if you liked what you saw. Um, subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't already to see some more related content. I hope to see you guys in the next video.